Hi, this is Matt from tracymatt.co.uk and for unboxings.com and here I have the Doro Easy Mobile. This model is the 345 GSM. Uh, something a bit unusual about this uh, particular mobile phone uh, is that uh, it's, it is specifically designed for those that have um, special requirements, shall we say, from a particular you know, phone or handset. Uh, by that I mean uh, possibly the, the hard of hearing uh, the elderly and uh, partially sighted people. Uh, as you can see, extremely large keypad and uh, you know quite a chunky design, shall we say. Look at that in a bit more detail in just a second. Just mention the other accessories that come in the box. Obviously we have a charger and we have a neck strap kind of lanyard thing and uh, then we have just a fairly basic set of headphones with a four pole, two and a half mil headphone jack uh, inline push button and microphone, pretty standard, similar to the sort of old style HTC um, headphones. Uh, but the Doro 345, uh, as I say, is designed very much for those that have specific requirements from, from a phone. Um, some kind of unique features of this particular handset uh, that you can customise all of the settings so you can just lock down the features that you only want to use. So if you don't want to use the FM radio, which is obviously built in, uh, and if you don't want to use text messaging and stuff like that, you can actually set it up so that uh, you only see the features you want. Um, emergency settings so that you can actually do emergency speed dials and things like that so you can get it to dial emergency services or you know a specific member of the family if you need, need to. And obviously a large clear keypad. They look like perhaps a bit like rubber keys, but they're really, uh, really not. They're sort of more physical and they're quite tactile and uh, fairly easy to press. And they're very positive. And uh, looking around the handset, if I just power on, initially on the top, we actually do have a nice welcome time. Very lovely. Uh, we also have uh, on the top here we have a built-in uh, torch, which is quite useful. Obviously, the power button I've just pressed there. Up and down volume control, then there's a, a little button to control the torch, so I can turn it on. I can turn it off, obviously. Not terribly bright, but I would say fairly useful. Uh, looking around the rest of the handset, uh, nothing really to speak of. There is a area at the bottom here with a couple of connectors, so possibly uh, there would be an accessory where we can actually plug it into like a dock or something like that so that we can actually charge it. Then we have a socket for the power cable. And then socket for the headphone socket, and socket for the headphones. And then on the back we have a button. Now the idea of the uh, button on the back is that the Doro is hearing aid compatible, so that it will work with hearing aids. And um, also on that, along those lines, it does have an extremely loud ringtone, one of the loudest ringtones that uh, you sort of come across. It's uh, almost 90 decibels at a meter. So yes, an extremely loud ringtone. Very useful if you're um, elderly, hard of hearing and, and so on. Um, fairly basic features from a handset. Um, nothing really terribly exciting to speak of, to be honest with you. There is a colour screen at the top, and as you can see, the font and display is pretty clear. Not, not high res by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but you can go into your phone book settings and alarms and so on. I suppose the only criticism I would perhaps make of the handset on initial inspection is that the display is quite small in comparison to the keys. Um, I would perhaps expect to have had you know, something of a larger display, taking up a bit more room at the top there, uh, still keeping the large keys. Obviously, I understand why the necess necessity for the large keys. Um, there's a built-in FM radio calculator, games and you know other bits and pieces there. But as I say, the main the features being obviously the large clear display uh, and keys, and obviously the hearing uh, hearing aid compatibility. Uh, and as I say, you can customise and lock down these features. Uh, other things that we've got on here, we actually here have Bluetooth for wireless headsets, and again, Bluetooth does support. Um, any of these sort of listening um, aids that you have, like sort of the neck loop type um, uh, listening and hearing aids, uh, which is uh, very useful. Key lock, call timer, as I say, the F uh, FM radio and flashlight. And then you have like phone memories and other bits and pieces. You can send text messages and so on. Um, turn off and uh, disable unwanted features. Vibrating ring, uh, which is again quite useful. I know many handsets have it, but 
this has a quite powerful vibrate from inside when the actual phone rings. Uh, it is tri-band, so it will work in you know, most countries around the world. Um, obviously, it's not 3G or anything like that, but it's a fairly, fairly basic phone in that respect. Quite a nice idea, quite useful. It's certainly the sort of thing that I could imagine um, the elderly using. Um, I'm sure it's the sort of handset that my grandparents would um, welcome. They wouldn't have to put on their reading glasses to see the keypad, for example. So quite useful. Um, we'll comment a little bit more. We probably won't have a full review of the Doro for you, as it's a fairly fairly basic handset. But uh, there'll be some comments on site on tracymat.co.uk for you. Uh, and if you're a fan of our unboxing videos, why not check out our other site, unboxings.com.